Hello, welcome to the gospel. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting message, faith content, and video that will help you to grow your spiritual life. Remember, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more new video updates. I was in the hospital. They still couldn't get me to say I was sick. Are you hearing me? No, no, I refuse. No, I refuse. I've had hurts in my body, but I still will not change my confession. No, no. You see, I minister to sick people all the time, and I found out something. Sometimes, some people got sick from a very little thing. They were playing with it. They thought it was just a boy, and they were trying to just take care of it. They didn't stop it. It grew larger. They thought it would soon go. The doctor said, no, take it away. It got worse. And then it got so big, they became frightened. And so big, they didn't know what to do anymore. Some started with a fever. And they thought, oh, well, not very serious. Doctor said, not to worry. It's okay. It'll just, he'll be fine. Two weeks later, he was still there. The doctor said, let me find out what's more. Oh, well, mm -mm, you'll be all right. Just take a little this little thing and then you'll be all right. A month later, he was still in that condition. A doctor began to worry now. He called up another doctor. What do we do? And then they gave, brought the news. Um, it's actually worse than what we first thought. Uh, but uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Then it became two years in that condition. I've asked people, how did you get sick like this? And they have these stories. Because you give Satan an inch, he'll go a mile. The Bible says, resist the devil! And he'll flee. You're still there? Yes. Look at this. Let, let, let's, let's look at this. In Romans chapter 8, reading from verse... <laughs> from verse 8, this is nice. Read verse 8. Want to go. Again. One more time. Listen, um, I'm trying to go to Kensington. I'm afraid it will rain. You said it. You got whipped. You are afraid. Why do you have to talk your fears? Listen, you are either learning your language from the world or you are learning from Zion. There are songs of Zion. And there are songs of the flesh. You know, some people wouldn't change a song even though it's not working. They'll keep it because it sounds nice. It's of the flesh, but they'll still sing it. You are not Job. You don't need to sing Job songs. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? No, they're different things you've got to understand. You live in Zion. It's different. It's different. Life in Zion is different. Look at what we're reading here. Let me show it to you. He says, so then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. I want to show you something. You'll be amazed. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Now, if I begin to say, listen, there's a Zion talk. If I begin to say, I have a headache, I'm going to get one. You say, but you already had it, I already had it, that's why I said it. That means you're in the flesh. And they that are in the flesh cannot please God. So you're not pleasing God in your communication. 
The Bible says about us, a man can receive nothing except it be given to him from above. Then it says every good and every perfect gift is from heaven, from the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Every good and every perfect gift. Headache is not good. How could you have headache? The only things you're supposed to have are the things given to you by the Father. You are a joint heir with Christ. If you have headache, that means Jesus has headaches. Because you're joint heirs. Everything you got belongs to Jesus and you together. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you. But don't forget to subscribe.